on to this now. Gauteng is ready to start relaxing lockdown regulations. That's according to the Provincial COVID-19 Advisory Council. Now, the number of new cases has been declining in the province. Now, let's speak to a man whose duty or whose job is that of a mathematical epidemiologist from the University of Johannesburg. His name is Professor Nyabadza, Farai Nyabadza, and he speaks to us now. Prof, good morning to you. So your focus uh, is that of a mathematical models and their analysis for the purposes of predicting trends. Firstly, are we indeed on a downward trend when it comes to these daily infections, as we are being told? Good morning, Zoli, and uh, good morning to the viewers uh, in South Africa. Um, yes, the data actually suggests that we are actually on a downward trend. Hmm. Um, I, may, I may start from um, the modeling perspective. In fact, if you look at all the decisions that have been made so far, most of them have been influenced by uh, the mathematical models that people have developed um, throughout the whole country and globally. And one of the things that I, we have realized, actually, is that many of these models, they actually have, um, um, of course, they are all the same in some real terms, but um, they are basically divided into two parts, one in which they describe the early increase in the epidemic and then the other part which describes the, um, you know, the decline in the epidemic. And as we speak now, we are actually at the peak, um, if I may say. But of course, different provinces have actually been peaking at different times. Yeah. And I can tell you that the Western Cape has actually passed the peak. Um, and Hauteng is somewhere around the peak. And um, KwaZulu-Natal is somewhere following there. So with Gauteng being in the peak period, as you say, is this a good time to relax the lockdown regulation, even though we are in the middle of a peak? Um, to be honest with you, um, it, it, you can take it from two, two angles. Apparently, with most of the regulations, there have actually been some relaxations in the regulations um, to the extent that some of the um, things that we were supposed to do at level two mm. were actually factored into level three. So even when we relax the, um, the regulations at the present moment, I don't see it impacting the epidemic that much mm. uh, because we have quite we have I mean we have made quite a lot of concessions in terms of um, you know the real, the relaxations in um, in 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 the levels uh, with respect to COVID nineteen mm. but we need to take a cautious approach here that even as we relax some of um, the regulations there are things that we need to actually keep in place especially those things that actually lead to the reduction of infections things that we you know lead to reduced contact between persons things that reduce our contact between persons and the virus those should actually be kept in place even as we go forward let's speak about those then let's be specific what are those that have got to be kept you know, social distancing has to be kept. Uh, the issue of masks, uh, the wearing of masks, it's not only about the wearing of masks, but they should be worn properly. Um, that should be kept. And at the same time, we also need to um, reduce, um, you know, you know, crowding, which means basically our gatherings need to still contain, need to be contained in terms of uh, having limited numbers of people. Mm. We, we don't need to be uh, in crowded places because then we might actually lose things that we have had in um, or in terms of mitigating um, against pandemic.
All right, Prof, final question to you before we lose that connection. It does seem to be patchy uh, right now, but perhaps here's a question to sneak in before we conclude. President Saul Ramaphosa is expected, some say, uh, sometime this week. Uh, it could possibly be even the weekend. He may announce that uh, we are going down to level two, perhaps. Does he take a blanket approach across all provinces, or does he implement what they have told us before, which is a differential, a differential approach when it comes to uh, these lockdown regulations? Okay, there, there are some cases where there have been some differential approach, and it has been difficult actually to apply these differential approaches across the, the country. Remember, we are just one people and we interact. Mm. And um, if you recall, there is a time when Gauteng was actually advocating for probably applying different levels. All right. Well, I did predict that that line was becoming patchy. But uh, thank you very much to the mathematical epidemiologist from the University of Johannesburg, Professor Farai Nyabadza. Still